Hi, this is Welcome Happy Pajama Read Aloud, and this is my answer to say we reading. Did I ever tell you how lucky you are? When I was quite young and quite small for my size, I met a little man in the desert of dries, and he sang me a song I'll never forget. Well, at least I haven't forgotten it yet. He sat in the t- in a terribly prickly place. He sung with a sunny, sweet smile on his face. When you think things are bad, when you feel sorry and blue, when you start to get mad, you should just do what I do. Just tell yourself, Jockey, you're really quite lucky that some people are much like you, ever so much, much, really much, much more unlucky than you. Just pose for Suppose, for example, just suppose, for example, you live in Gazer with your bedroom up here and your bathroom up there. Just suppose, just suppose, you're a poor heavy heart who has taken his thumb dimby later apart. He'll never, he'll never know. He'll never get it together, I'm sure. He'll never know if the go or the gore fits into the snacks or the snacks or the snore. Yeah, Ducky, you're really quite lucky. Some people are much lucky. so much lucky. Much lucky, much, much more lucky than me. Do you think they wake you too hard? Think of poor Ali Sawyer. They, he has some old grass in his uncle's backyard. And it's quick going grass and it grows as he mows it. The faster he mows it, the faster he grows it. And all that is stingy old uncle will pay for shoving that mower around in that hay is a piffyless pay of two duplas a day, and Ali can't live on such piffyless pay. So, he has to paint flagpoles on Sundays and grills. You're really quite lucky to live in his shoes. And while we are at it, consider, consider the schloss. The weapon horn green bearded green bearded sloths with his tails untailed with unsolvable knots. And poor Mr. Potty, T cross it eye daughter. He has to cross teeth and he has to dot eyes in an iron D factory out in Van Eyes. This is Happy Read Aloud.